News now and talk about personal finances and 401ks. Most of you are probably counting on one for your retirement, but now some financial experts are warning the 401ks could be the next victim of this economic crisis we're experiencing. So is it time to cash out and start stashing your money in a mattress? Joining us now is Ed Utowski. He is managing partner of Chapwood Capital Investment Management, creator of the Chapwood Portfolio Investment. Good to see you. Thanks very much for being here, Ed. You know, the founder of the Vanguard Group, which of course is one of uh, those one of those uh, mutual funds that people can invest in a lot of times with their 401ks is saying uh, that our nation's system of retirement security is imperiled and headed for the state of a serious train wreck. Do you agree with him? I, I absolutely do. I think Mr. Bogle has hit it right on the uh, right on the nail here because what really is happening out there is that people are managing their own 401k plans and they're not doing a very good job of it. I mean, right now you do have a panic out there in the marketplace, but people should be panicking if they're not investing in this 401k plans that they can get from their companies. I mean, why would you not utilize a plan where money goes in pre-tax, grows tax deferred? I mean, even if your employer isn't putting money into it for you or contributing or matching, you should still be doing it because it's going to grow tax deferred. But remember something, Rick, the 401k plan is just one vehicle towards retirement. There's many other things you need to do. You need to cut back on expenses because inflation is on, uh, you know, on the rise. But most importantly, we need to take control of our own retirement plans and people aren't doing that. You know, the opening up of that 401k statement that comes in the mail four times a year has been very disheartening for a lot of us over the last uh, uh, year or so as we've watched our balance go down and down and down some more. But you say in spite of that, in spite of the, the way that the markets have hit 401ks, it's still something that people need to be uh, investing in and would you even say maxing out, putting in as much as you're legally allowed? You, you really should. I mean, the pain you feel today by putting money into that plan will pale in comparison to the pain you're going to feel 15, 20 years from now where you don't have enough money to retire on. Even though the markets have been down and these mutual funds, which make up the 401k plans, have been down, that doesn't mean they're going to stay down forever. I'm, my, I would imagine over the next two to three years, you're going to make up more than half, if not almost everything that you have been down as of right now. I think we're down about 30 percent from when, uh, I guess, from September of last year. Put your money in there go in pre-tax, let it grow tax deferred, and take control of what retirement you have coming up. But then also start looking further out and making some really strong you know, decisions on how you're going to live off of retirement. Because as Mr. Bogle says, it is a problem. It is a crisis that we're going to have. But everyone needs to take responsibility for their own retirement and not rely on the government or their company to take care of them. Yeah, we just heard some dire numbers about the Social Security fund uh, uh, running out of cash a lot earlier right. than we had expected. So how do you figure out exactly how much you're going to need to live on uh, once you retire. If you're trying to do some planning and you, you, you're maybe five, ten years away from retirement age, uh, how do you come up with a number so that you know exactly what you're, what you're aiming for? Excellent question, and that's something that's very particular to each individual. But as a rule of thumb, you should plan to live off of about four to five percent of what you have in your retirement account. Some people and some planners will say you can live off of more of that. Some people say you know that number is just about right. That's the number I would go with. But I'd sit down and really put a you know hard number to it because uh, inflation, as I said, is coming. And, and Rick, when I say that, if you're living off of four percent and inflation is six or seven percent. You're losing purchasing power every single year. So this is a crisis. It is something that needs to be addressed, and we need to pay a lot more attention to it. All right, so let's just stick with the 401K for a minute because the point you made at the top I think is an important one, that people are, are, are not investing properly in their 401Ks. Are you talking about sort of the distribution of money, the percentage that you put in one fund, and then the percentage you put in another fund? How do you figure that out so that you're doing it right? Right. Well, very simple. And I'll, I'll make this statement and make it very clear. Do not invest in any bond funds. There's a tendency to do that right now because people are afraid of the equity markets. But the equity markets, generally speaking, are about 24 to 30 percent undervalued. And people are rushing in to buy bonds, which, which are going to go down in value. So I would stay away from bond funds. I'd be investing in domestic equities, uh, making it value growth, some small cap value, and have some money in the internationals, uh, have some money in a real estate fund, and also put some money in those emerging markets, but get invested in things that grow. Stay away from the bond funds. And the older you are, the nearer to retirement you are, the less risk you want, uh, as opposed to some people just entering the workforce who could probably tolerate a little bit more risk. 
Well, that is true, but here's one of the fallacies, Rick. Somebody retires at 65, on average, they're going to live another 20 years. So it's not as though they can get that conservative. They still have to have a growth element to their portfolio. That's why they need to sit down with their financial advisor and take a hard look at this. But don't just automatically gear uh, your portfolios towards fixed income. Ed Butowski, managing partner of Chapwood Capital Investment Management. Good to see you, Ed. Thanks very much for being here. Great. Thanks for having me, Rick.